Hey guys, it's Shannon. As you know, I just recently came back from my whirlwind of a trip to New York City, and it was a very exciting trip. Uh, we did a lot of things in a short period of time, and I have a ton of things to show you guys um, from my trip. So I have things that I uh, got in order to go on the trip. I have things that I got while I was on the trip. I have um, little keepsakes and things that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to show you guys everything. I'm probably going to break it up into a couple of videos um, just so that it is a digestible amount because it would be a very, very long video if I did it all in one. So today I'm going to start with the things that we received during our master makeup class with celebrity makeup artist Paul Innes. And I'm also going to show you the things that we received while we were taking our tour of the research and development facilities. So this is probably the bulk of um, the actual Avon products I think that I have to show you. So I'm going to try to show you as much as I can and get through it as quick as I can because I have a lot to show you from this section. So um, one of the first things that we, that we did on our first day in New York is, um, you know, we had some meetings and things. But we were able to take a master makeup class with celebrity makeup artist Paul Innes. And during that class, they gave us a bag full of products for us to use during the class. And then um, when we walked into the room, the tables were completely covered with products for us to use as well. And at the end of the class, not only did we get to take the bag full of makeup home, but we also got to take everything that was on the tables um, as well. So we all kind of, everybody that was at our each table kind of divided the products up. So that's what I'm going to show you today is all of the products that I took from that. Um, and then on the second day, we were able to go tour the research and development uh, facility, which was amazing. That is where all of the Avon products are um, created, and we got to meet all the scientists that work on them and see the, how they're tested and um, all kinds of stuff like that. So it was very interesting. Uh, portion of the trip and we also got to take home kind of as we toured each sort of section they uh, let us take home one of the products that they have recently you know created in each sort of section and so I'm going to show you those today as well so the first thing I'm going to show you is this is just um, a mirror that we use during the makeup class this is a fold-up travel vanity mirror and um, you know, we were able to kind of unfold these and prop them on the table so that we were, you know, able to do our makeup, everybody sitting at the tables. So it's, it looks like this. It's nice and shiny silver. It opens up like this, and then it opens. I'm going to blind you here for a second, maybe. Oh, no. Um, and then it opens up like this, and you, you know, you prop it up. And I'm going to try to sort of break it up by category, I think. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, so here are some of the Avon Glow bronzing powders. I was able to take um, two shades off of the table. One of them is deep tan and one of them is sun, sun kissed glow. So this one is the deep tan. Hopefully you guys, there you can see color a little better. And this one is the sun kissed glow. So I was able to get, you know, kind of a lighter shade and a darker shade. Next are a couple eyeshadow quads. We had two eyeshadow quads that were in our bags, and then the tables were covered, you know, with more of them. And so I have the two from my bag, and then I took one from the table. So um, this first one I'm going to show you is the Purple Haze Quad. And um, I, I don't know if I said, but these are the true color, true color eyeshadow quads. So this first one is the Purple Haze Quad, which is looking like blues on camera, but it's not. These are these are purples, and this one here that looks very smoky bluish is actually like a gray. It's like a dark gray. So this is a nice purple, and this is kind of like a lilac shade, and it's not looking lilac at all today. Um, and then this is kind of almost like a lighter, almost like a light pink. If you want to see any of these products swatched, because there's so many, I'm not going to swatch them during this video. But if you do want to see any swatches, then please comment below because I will either make a separate video with product swatches based on your requests, or I will do a blog post with the swatches so that you guys can see them up, up close and personal. I just don't have time to do it and show you everything today. Um, the next one is the Earth Tones Quad. And this is exactly what it sounds like, you know, very earthy tones with a nice kind of a smoky eggplant plum color. This one's a green, just to give you kind of an idea in case the colors aren't showing up true. 
And then the one that I took from the table, this is the Caribbean Sunset quad. So a nice smoky blue and some browns and this kind of orange russet color. Next I have a few blushes. Um, the first one is Coral Radiance and the second one is the Classic Aura. So this is the Coral Radiance. Just nice coral color. And the Classic Aura is a, a very pale, kind of a light rosy pink, um, but almost with a, it's pink, but it almost has kind of a salmon sort of undertone to it. Then I have a few of the uh, Ideal Flawless Loose Powders. I have one in light and one in medium deep. And so these are just loose powders. I'm not going to open these because you know what they look like. Well, I will. <laughs> Take it back. Hopefully they're not all over the place. It's just a sifter, and you can see this was in my suitcase, so I need to take some time and tap everything back down into the bottom, but they're just loose powders, so we have light and medium deep. These are the puffs that go into the loose powders, just because I took them out. Um, then I grabbed a couple of the Ideal Flawless Foundations. Um, I have one in Nude and one in Sable. So this one is Nude and this one is Sable. So Nude is a little bit light for me and then Sable is kind of a light caramel shade. Then we received um, one of the new mascaras. This is the Avon Super Extend Infinitize Mascara and um, it is in black. So it's a nice bright orange container and the brush, hopefully you'll be able to see the brush. The brush reminds me of like a sea cucumber, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's got, see, it's it's got like three sort of bulbs of bristles, and then it's spiny at the tip, so you can really get into the lash line, really, those little tiny lashes if you want to, and it's, um, it is rounded this way, but you can kind of twist it and turn it and use it however you want to really get into the lashes whatever way is most comfortable for you and gives you the results that you really want. So, and I also like that it kind of snaps, you know, clicks shut so you really know that it's shut and sealed tightly. And then I picked up one of the eyeshadow primers in light beige, I think is the color. So this is just a nice pot style uh, primer that you can, you can use your finger if you want. It's kind of got like a mousse sort of consistency or sort of feel to it. Um, but you can apply it with a cream eyeshadow brush or your finger or Q-tip or, you know, whatever is most comfortable for you. Okay, then we have um, some lip liners. I have two of the Ultra Luxury lip liners and then one of the Glimmer Sticks lip liners. Um, the Glimmer Sticks is in Red Brick, which this one isn't open yet, so I'm just going to leave it shut for now. But you can see the color there at the tip. And then the Ultra, Ultra Luxury Lip Liners, I have Shimmer Mauve. There's the Glimmer Sticks is a retractable. These are pencils that you sharpen. So you can see the color here at the end. And the other one I have is Rosebud. So again, here's the color at the end, so you can see the two together. Nice deep pink. And then I have some eyeliner. These are the Glimmer Sticks eyeliners. I have three shades. The first one is Classic Fit, which is a light blue. And these, again, are the retractables. Self-sharpening. I have Emerald, which is this nice green. And I have Saturn Gray, which is kind of a deep gray shade. Then they also had lip glosses. I just picked up one. This is the Extra Lasting Lip Gloss, and the color I picked up is um, Endless Watermelon, which is a pretty pink. They gave us a, a lip balm. This is the Avon Dew Kiss Lip Dew, and I was kind of excited to get this, actually, because this is a product that's been around for a really long time, but it's been a really long time since I have uh, used it because it's kind of a standard, and I know how it performs, and so I tend to always buy the newer products to see how they work and don't often get to buy some of the, the old classics. So I was really glad to actually get this because I haven't had one in a long time and I really like the way it performs. Then I raced, um, we had two lipsticks in our bag and then we had kind of a couple trays full of them. And so um, I have the two lipsticks from my bag and then I was able to take three from the trays. 
So the first one is one of the totally kissable lipsticks, and the color that I have here is uh, Natural Glow. So this is for all you nude girls. This is, you know, like the perfect nude, um, light beige skin toned shade. And one of these I don't have open yet, so I'm just going to show it to you uh, like this. This is the Ultra Color Rich Lipstick in Rich Ruby. I'm just going to show you the ends because I, I'd hate to open it right now. But it, like I said, if you want swatches, I will do swatches for you guys. Then I also have Sparkling Nude, which is another kind of shiny beige nude color. Pink Fantasy which is kind of a nice baby doll sort of bright pink with sort of a satin finish um instant mocha which i know it's called mocha but this is really kind of a deep rosy pink and pretty and this is kind of a an intense deep pink deeper than fuchsia but it has it does have a hint of fuchsia to it then they gave us uh, a lot of brushes, so I'm going to run through those quickly. The first thing they gave us is, um, you know, the sharpener, in case we need to sharpen any of our products. Then they also gave us the um, eyelash curler, which is new. Um, I love the pink, and I love kind of the ergonomic sort of padding. So, nice eyelash curler. We got the kabuki brush, which comes in this little travel case, which snaps shut, and that's nice. So, nice rounded top kabuki. This is the cream eyeshadow brush, so a nice flat tipped brush. This is the foundation brush, so also a flat tipped brush. This is the blush brush, which I like because it's tapered. It's, it is flat, but it's, it has a nice taper at the tip. You can see the nice rounded point. So you can really use this for contouring too because you can really get some powder right in the tip and get right into the areas you want to contour. This is the concealer brush. So again, nice flat tip brush. This is the rounded shadow brush. And some of my brushes are a little wonky because again, they just came back from, they were in my suitcase so they got a little squished. So this is a nice rounded tipped uh, brush it's really good for getting in the crease or if you're somebody who, ha who doesn't have a whole lot of real estate in your eyes meaning your eye space is a lot smaller this works really well as a blending brush for you too if you have smaller eyelids this is the three-in-one tool you guys have seen me use this before it's got a nice flat tip rounded um, nice flat rounded tipped eyeshadow brush then in here is a smudger and then here is the angled, like a flat angled eyeliner brush. Then um, is just the eyeliner brush, which is a nice thin, dense, flat tipped eyeliner brush. This is the uh, face brush, just the general, you know, you use this for powder. Then we have the retractable lip brush, which comes, comes like this. You pull the end out, turn it around, stick it in, and as you press it in, you'll see here, as you press it down in, the tip comes out, and you have your lip brush. Good way to keep it sanitary if you are taking it in your purse. And then, um, this is the Avon Glow Bronzing Brush. You guys have seen me use this before as well, or talk about this in the past. So good for your bronzing pearls or your bronzing powder or really you could use it for a blush brush any kind of face brush if you wanted to and then we went to the research and development center I told you guys and um, we got to go to each different section so I'm going to show you really quickly the products that they gave us um, first they gave us a full size of the new perfume which I was so excited about this is the Flor Violetta this is the Eau de Parfum Spray so this is brand new in the catalog. Um, I have the uh, shower gel. I purchased the shower gel, but I did not have the perfume spray yet. So I was very excited to get this. 
they gave us another one of the um, Totally Kissable lipsticks, and this color is Make Out Red. Um, this is the lipstick line that we were able to meet the, the scientist who actually created this line, and this was the color that she was wearing and so while she was talking to us and so um, this was the color I picked we were able to pick from a bunch of different colors and it was nice to be able to see um, you know anytime a product is created a company doesn't launch every shade of it in every country you know they they divide up the shades based on what countries typically trend and buy certain you know what types of shades and so there are a lot of shades that are created that we will never get to see in this country and so it was nice to be able to really see the whole range of all of the colors that are all over the world. So that was really interesting. Then we also received a bottle of the new Clinical Absolute Even Multitone Skin Corrector. And you guys know that I am testing this out as we speak. And so I was excited to get another bottle. And then we also received the Avon Advanced Techniques Moroccan Argan Oil Leave-In Treatment. And I haven't um, tried this yet so I'm really excited to try this as well okay so I think that's everything for this little segment um, unless anything fell out in my suitcase which is always possible so if that happened I will show you anything that I'm missing later um, but stay tuned because I'm going to show you in in the next kind of series of videos I'm going to be showing you the clothes that I purchased in order to take and wear on the trip I'm going to be showing you um, products that were given to me by my um, the girl that I shared the hotel room with um, my co-makeup maven <laughs> and I'm going to be showing you things that I purchased while I was there um, kind of as my own little souvenirs uh, I'm basically going to show you everything minus the souvenirs that I've already given to family members that I've already seen so <laughs> you'll get to see almost everything okay so if you have any uh, questions about any of these products then please comment below whatever your questions are. Any of them you want to see swatched or see again or you want me to take a little more time to talk about, leave your comments below. And anything that you see that you want to buy, you can always buy from my website, which is linked below. <laughs> okay, so um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you for the next one. Bye.